Hey guys, it's Joe the Android Guy. NFC and spare batteries. How do they work together and what do you need to keep in mind when you get a new one? That's what we're going to talk about in this week's episode of the Android Guy Weekly. So NFC, or Near Field Communication, is something that most new phones are starting to come with. Notice I said starting to come with. There have been a few phones that have had NFC in them in the past. The Galaxy Nexus is one. A lot of the, uh, the Galaxy phones from Samsung. And of course the Nexus S, which is also a Samsung phone. But as popularity increases, you're going to see NFC in more and more devices. And why is that? Well, NFC stands for Near Field Communication, and it lets you communicate simple bits of information at very short distances. So it's not Bluetooth, it's not Wi-Fi, it's not anything like that. Instead, it's the ability for your phone to communicate with another device, which might be something as simple as a sticker, to be able to send information back and forth. Now, if you remember the old, old, old pocket PC days, you remember how all of those devices had an infrared port that you could beam information across? Kind of like that, but really not that much. It's very slow, and it has very, very limited information transfer. That's why I bring up the whole infrared transfer thing. But it doesn't really have to be fast in this case with NFC, because you're sending such small little bits of information. Well, what can you do with it? One of the main things that you can do, introduced with Ice Cream Sandwich, is the ability to share information with another device, also with NFC, with it turned on, with Ice Cream Sandwich. So, you know, not a whole ton of people out there yet, but it's really cool when you find someone that you can. If you want to share this episode of the Android Guy Weekly with your friend, you just open it up, you're looking at it on your phone, you're watching it on the subway or whatnot, and hey, it's awesome, you want to share it with your buddy, all you have to do is hold your phone up to the back of his phone and beep, there you go. It says, hey, do you want to share this? You tap your screen. He then gets that information right there. You can do the same thing with web pages, with business cards, with calendar appointments, all kinds of stuff. It's really, really a cool technique and technology. Something else that you can do, it doesn't have to be a phone that you're doing that with, you know, phone to phone. You can do that with a sticker, kind of like barcode scanning with QR codes. So you can get information to your phone quicker that way. You can also, through the use of an app and specialized hardware, use it as a credit card. Now, how does that work? Well, especially with the Nexus family, the Nexus S began and then the Galaxy Nexus Next. That was a lot of Nexus, wasn't it? <coughs> anyway, what you can do is tap the back of your phone to a payment terminal, a PayPass terminal, and beep, be able to pay for whatever it is that you're buying with the credit card stored on your phone. Now, there are some pretty big caveats that go along with that that we'll tackle in an upcoming uh, article, not an episode of the, uh, of the Android Go Weekly. So you're going to have to go over to pocketnow.com and keep up with my articles over there to be able to read about some of the caveats with Google Wallet that just came up and a threat, by the way. You'll, you'll want to make sure you get that. It's kind of fun. So, now that we've covered kind of what NFC is and what it does, how does it do it? Well, NFC is very, very simply a transceiver. There's a chip in specialized phones that lets you transmit this very short bit of information, and it also has an antenna that lets you receive uh, very small bits of information, and the system works together pretty well. Well, I don't know if you've been keeping track in smartphones and tablets and whatnot. How many antennae do you have in there? Antennas? Antennae? Let us know which one you prefer in the comments. There's lots of these little buggers in there. You've got Bluetooth. You've got Wi-Fi. You've got CDMA. You've got GSM. Not in the same phone. You've got HSPA. You've got Edge. You've got lots and lots of stuff. Sometimes they're built into the same antenna. Sometimes they're separate antennas. And they're just... A lot of them. So where are you going to cram this extra antenna, which, in all honesty, has to be somewhat large, comparatively speaking. These NFC antenna are very, well, they're big. But you don't see them anywhere. They don't add any bulk to the phone. So how do they do that? They do that through your battery. 
Now there's some confusion going around that says that NFC chips are inside your battery. Not true. In fact, let's go ahead and read this. Battery right there says Samsung near field communication. In fact, it says it on both sides of the battery. So a lot of people think, well, if I want to have near field communication, I have to have a compatible battery. Ooh, can I take a battery and put it in my non NFC phone and ta-da, now I've got NFC in my older phone. No, you can't. Or how about this? I've got Google Wallet on here, but I've got this error message that says that my NFC chip is borked. Can I just swap out the battery and have it work? No, you can't. Sorry. And why is that? The whole reason behind that is because that's not your NFC chip. That's your antenna. The NFC chip is still stored tightly inside your phone. Your antenna there is used to help transmit the signal and receive the incoming signal as well. Very, very simple, but they didn't say with near field communication antenna, they just said near field communication. So what about spare batteries? Can you get a spare battery, pop it in your phone and have your phone still work? Well, if it is an actual legitimate battery, then yes, you can. Meaning if it's a name brand battery specific for your phone from your phone manufacturer, you're, you're good to go. You're just fine as long as it's the model for your phone. I haven't seen any yet that are say a replacement for the Galaxy Nexus that don't include the NFC antenna. There might be some out there, I just haven't seen any. So keep that in mind when looking at replacement batteries or spare batteries. Extended batteries, which this one is not, also come with, in general, the NFC stuff built in. So you're probably okay there. Where do you get into some problems? Well, if you get generic batteries, that all it is is a battery, they may or may not have that NFC antenna in them. So you need to be kind of aware of that. How about knockoffs? You know, you find some deal on eBay where you can get, hey, extended battery for three bucks. There's probably something wrong with that battery. Either it's a refurb or it was a reject or it's counterfeit. And if it's counterfeit, they usually just take the label and reprint it, the, the manufacturer's label, slap it on their fake battery and there you go. So it's not a Samsung battery and you know what, it probably doesn't have in it. So if your NFC stops working with your spare battery, you probably want to see if you can get a refund for that. But if you stick with authorized distributors, if you stick with name brands, you're probably okay and you'll still be able to use your NFC. Now that's implying that you're using your NFC now. If you're not, I encourage you to take a look at some of the things we talked about in this video to see what you can do with NFC. My personal favorite is exchanging business cards. I don't have to do it through a QR code, but I can. If someone has a phone with NFC, I can very quickly and easily exchange business cards just by tapping our phones together, as long as they have NFC and ice cream sandwich. So it's really, really a cool thing. And then of course I can fall back to QR code if I need to. So that's my favorite thing to do with NFC. Now it's your turn. We want to know two things from you in this week's episode. One is what's your favorite thing to do with NFC? Let us know in the comments down below. The second thing is, have you gotten an extended battery for your phone? And if so, were you aware of the need to have this NFC antenna in it or not? Let us know that down in the comments below as well. So I think that's going to wrap it up for our talk on NFC and spare batteries. If you have any other questions at all, of course, leave those also in the comments below. Make sure you head on over to, to pocketnow.com and leave comments on that article and see the other news. Now, just a, a reminder, we do have another article coming up at Pocket Now. It's not going to be on the YouTube channel. You'll have to go over to the website and check it out. It's going to be under my name, so just look for me. You'll know it when you see it. It involves Google Wallet and a threat. If you like this video and the Android Guy Weekly, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let me know how you're doing on the homework assignment from last week where we challenged you to share our wolves, sheep, and sheepdogs with everybody else. I want an update on that also in the comments. And anything else that you want to feedback, let us know as well. For Pocket Now, the Android Guy Weekly, and NFC in Batteries, I'm Joe the Android Guy.